Welcome again, this is Loretta. And today I would like to do some more stretching. We're gonna start breathing, but we're gonna start in a seated position today instead of stand standing. We're gonna stretch our torsos, we're gonna stretch our legs, we're gonna work on our lower backs, we're going to work on our cores, and always keep the breathing and the balance in mind. So let's begin. I'm gonna scoot back to my mat. and start in a seated stick posture. Legs straight, back straight, arms straight. Point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet. Release the hold and relax the hands. Take a deep breath into your system. Exhale, bring the legs in and either sit cross-legged, half lotus or full lotus. Nice and tall. We're gonna take some deep breaths first. So bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to stretch a little bit to the sides and then we're going to do a quick Simple spinal twist. And then we're gonna open our legs and we're gonna stretch our legs too. So first of all, I want you to bring the arms up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms down to the sides. Now I want you to take your right arm, put the hand on the floor. If you can't touch the hand to the floor, you can hold a block or a book or something. At least try to get your fingertip to the floor. Bring the left arm up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and slide out to the side. The upper torso, upper body is in the same plane. If you can bend the elbow, that's great, but you don't have to. And if you can put the forearm on the floor and just reach with that upper arm, looking up, again, keeping the torso in the same same plane as your arms as best you can. Abs are in tight and you're breathing. Now come back up, inhaling. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach with that right arm and slide out with the left arm, staying in that same plane. Bend the elbow if you can, but you don't have to. Just reach. Look up, abs in, breathing. Up inhaling. Exhale again, change sides. We'll do two on each side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and slide. You can reach straight up if you want or bring the arm as an extension of the torso. Keep the abs in, look up and breathe. Up inhaling, exhale change. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen and slide. Arm either straight up or an extension of the torso. Abs in, same plane, look up, breathing. Up inhaling, exhale, lower the arm. We'll do some simple twists on each side. So nice and tall, check that posture. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right fingertips in front, left behind. Turn, look over that shoulder, torso tall and perpendicular to the floor. This is a very simple spinal twist, but also very effective. Always breathe. Turn to the front, inhaling. Exhale and release. Check the posture, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, left fingertips in front, right behind, torso tall, turn, look over that shoulder, 
simple spinal twist, abs in tight, breathing. Turn to the front, inhaling. Exhale and release. Now both sets of fingertips on the floor in front of you. Lengthen the spine, bend at the hips and walk forward, but only go as far as you can, keeping the back long and flat. If you start rounding the back, stop. And if you need, if you can't reach the floor, you can use blocks or books or just do the best that you can. Really try to bend at the hips and keep those abs in tight. Lengthen that spine as best you can. Always breathe. Head and neck should be an extension of the spine as best you can as well. Now either walk your fingertips back up or arms at your ears, slowly coming up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the side. Check the posture, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, look at your legs and do exactly the opposite. Whichever leg was on top, put on the bottom or in front, put in the back. We want our bodies to be nice and balanced. We'll do the same thing on this side of our bodies now, nice and tall. First, we'll take a deep cleansing breath. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Have your right hand stay on the mat. Bring the left arm up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and slide out to the side. If you can bend the elbow and come on the forearm, that's great, but don't feel like you have to. Reach, lengthen, abs in, breathing. Hopefully it's a little easier each time we do it, but keep those abs in nice and tight. Up inhaling. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and slide to the side. On this side, just like you did on the other. You wanna be as balanced as you can be. Abs in, reaching, looking up, breathing. If you feel like you can't go very far, don't worry about it. If you're getting a stretch, that's the important thing. Again, no pain. Up inhaling. Exhale, change sides again. Check the posture. Make sure you're as perpendicular to the floor as possible when you start. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and slide out. You can have that left arm straight up or an extension of the torso. Do what works for you. Just make sure you're in the same plane and put the torso and arms as best you can. Abs in tight, reaching up, looking up, breathing. Up inhaling. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and slide out. Arms straight up or an extension of that spine. Lengthen, abs in tight, breathing. Up, inhaling. Exhale, both arms straight up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture, make sure your torso is as tall and perpendicular to the floor as you can get it. Abs in tight, always breathing. And now we'll do the simple spinal twist. So, right fingertips in front, left fingertips behind, turn. Look over that shoulder as best you can, keeping the torso perpendicular to the floor and those abs in nice and tight. You're nice and tall, always breathing. Simple twist. Turn to the front, inhaling. Exhale and release. Check the posture, inhaling. 
Exhale, left fingertips in front, right behind. Turn, look over that shoulder. Simple spinal twist, breathing. Abs impact. Turn to the front, inhaling. Exhale and release. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, both sets of fingertips on the floor in front of you. Lengthen the spine, make sure that spine is as nice and long and flat as possible. Abs are in tight. And if you can, bend at the hips and walk forward. If you can't without rounding, stop and just hold it there. Breathing, head and neck, an extension of the spine. Abs always in tight. And of course, always breathe. This is actually a great hip opener if you can do it with your, with a half lotus or full lotus or even with the legs crossed, it's a good hip opener too. But really bend at the hips. You don't wanna hurt yourself. Either walk your fingertips up or arms at your ears and slowly come up inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale and release. You're nice and balanced because we did the same on both sides of your body. Now seated stick posture, legs straight, back straight, arms straight. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, check the back. Release the hold and check again. Hopefully your back didn't move much. Now we're gonna work on our legs, our hips, our torsos, a little bit of everything. So take a deep breath into your system. Exhale, bend the right knee and bring the sole of the foot anywhere you can along that inner left leg. I have my heel up pretty close to my torso, but every body is literally different. So I'm still facing over my straight left leg, torso's tall and perpendicular to the floor as best I can. Bring the arms up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stretch over the straight left leg as best you can. The hands will be under the thigh, the calf, the ankle, or the heel. Try not to round the back. Keep that left leg straight and just come down as far as you can without rounding. Head and neck are an extension of the spine. Abs are always in tight and you're always breathing. Point that toe, flex the foot, pushing out through the heel. Relax the foot and slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top with the arms. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Now turn and face that bent right knee. Put your left hand, the opposite hand, on that right knee, facing the right knee. Your abs are in tight, your torso's tall and perpendicular to the floor. Bring the right arm up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and stretch over the straight left leg. Your right arm can be straight up, it can be parallel to the floor, or if you can, you can see if you can touch those toes, but you don't have to. Just pull that shoulder back, as best you can. I hate to say pull, that's probably not a word, for, a good word for it, but move the right shoulder back as best you can to get a better stretch on that torso. Look up if you can, keep those abs in tight and breathe. Slowly come up inhaling. Exhale and lower that right arm all the way down to the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, seated stick posture. Legs straight, back straight, arms straight. Point those toes, flex the feet, relax the feet. 
release the hold. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, bend the left knee and bring the left sole up against the inner right leg anywhere you can, even if it's way up here. Do what you can do. Face that straight right leg. Torso tall, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and stretch over the straight right leg. Your hands can be under the thigh, the calf, the ankle, or the heel. Keep those abs in tight, right leg straight. Lengthen your spine, really bend at the hips. You don't want your back to round, if at all possible. If you feel like it's rounding, then come up more so that you don't round. Always breathe. Point that toe, flex that foot, pushing out through the heel. Feel different muscles. Relax the foot and slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Now, keeping the torso tall and perpendicular, turn and face that bent left knee this time. Right hand, always opposites, on that left knee. Your torso is tall, your abs are in tight. Bring that left arm up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and stretch over the straight right leg. Your left arm can be straight up in the air. It can be parallel to the floor. If you can, you can see if you can touch your toe, but you don't have to. Move that shoulder back as best you can so your body is aligned as best you can. Keep those abs in tight, look up and breathe. Now slowly come up, inhaling. Exhale and lower the arm. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, seated stick posture. Legs straight, back straight, arms straight. Point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet, open both legs. Now if you have back issues or hip issues or something that doesn't allow you to do this, then you can modify when we go to this one side, you can bend the opposite leg. What it does is release some of that tension basically in your lower back if you have back issues. If you don't have back issues, you won't have problems. Nice and tall. First, we're gonna go down with our ear towards our leg or our knee on both sides. And then we're gonna go down face down. Our feet are just relaxed right now. So bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and stretch with the left ear over the left leg. Right arm is straight up or parallel to the floor. Or again, you can come and touch the toes. Every body's literally different. I'm moving my shoulder back as best I can so that I can look up and I get a great stretch on my right torso. Keep those abs in tight and breathe. And now slowly come up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and stretch to the right, ear toward that leg or that knee. Left arm straight up, parallel to the floor, or again, you can touch the toes if you choose. But focus on your posture, do what works best for you. I'm moving my left arm and shoulder back, looking up, abs are in tight, and I'm always breathing. Now slowly come up, inhaling. 
Exhale, reach, lengthen with the arms, turn and face that straight left leg. Point your toes this time and stretch face down toward that straight leg. Your hands can be under the thigh, the calf, the ankle, or the heel, but lengthen that spine. Keep the abs in tight and keep the back as long and flat as possible. Head and neck are an extension of the spine and you're always breathing. Toes pointed at this point. Now flex both feet. You'll feel different muscles. Slowly come up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, point the toes again, turn and face the straight right leg and come down face down. Hands under the thigh, the calf, the ankle, or the heel, lengthen that spine, abs in tight, head and neck an extension of the spine, and always breathe. Now point the toes, excuse me, flex the feet, hopefully your toes were pointed, flex the feet, feel the different muscles. Always breathe, keep those abs in tight, and now slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, relax the feet, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Now, fingertips on the floor in front of you. If you have difficulty and you can't reach the floor in front of you, you can hold a block or a book or something. If you can, you can walk your fingers forward. Only if you can bend at the hips and keep your back from rounding. If you start rounding, stop. Your feet are relaxed at this point. But now I want you to point the toes. Flex the feet. Keep the feet flexed and walk hand to hand over toward the left leg. Face down, just briefly, abs in tight. Hand to hand, back to the center. See if you can stretch a little more. Maybe not, it's okay. Abs in tight breathing. Hand to hand over to the right. Face down again, just briefly. And back to the center. You might be able to come a little further, maybe not. Point the toes again. Flex the feet. And now slowly come up. You can walk the hands up if you want. Taking a deep breath as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Now, relax the feet, slide those legs together. Palms on the floor, I like my fingers pointed forward. Some people like their fingers back. But walk your legs up and down, bending the knees. Release some of those muscles I hope you just stretched. I know I did. There we go nice and tall. Now, just what we're gonna do here is a little bit of balance, but you have options. So bring the legs up and hug them into your chest with your arms. I guess I'll do it in the front. And see if you can balance on your rear end. If you need to put a toe or two down, you may, that's okay. This will be the last one before we take a few deep breaths. You can hold it here if you have any kind of balance issues or you can come to the resting position. Now I'll turn to the side, like an angle here. Calves are parallel to the floor and to each other. If you can, you can straighten the legs, but you don't have to. You may hold it here breathing, or you can bring the hands to the calves or the ankles. And you may hold it here breathing or open the legs. And you may hold it here breathing or release. Point the toes. Flex the feet, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, one more, point and flex. Relax the feet, bring the legs in, inhaling, exhale, resting position. Lots of options and lots of different levels. You don't have to look like anybody else and you don't have to do what anybody else is doing. So you may hold it here breathing or straighten the legs again. And you may hold it here breathing or release and bring the arms in the parallel position 
in this full boat posture. Point the toes, flex the feet. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, and flex. Relax the feet, resting position, inhaling. Exhale and bring those legs in. Hug them into your chest and feet on the floor. Nice and tall, abs in tight. Release, seated stick posture, legs straight, back straight, arms straight. Point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet. Release the hold, relax the hands on the thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale again, bring those legs in. Sit cross-legged, half lotus with one foot up on the thigh or full lotus with both feet up. Nice and tall. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Hold the position, inhaling. Exhale, and thank you very much for coming. Namaste. I hope you all feel better than when we started, and I hope you got what you needed. And I will stop the recording and hope to see you again at another time. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.